Beth from Twinkle and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to help children create amazing computer art. Using a simple program like Microsoft Paint is a great way to help children get creative on a computer and help develop their fine motor skills. Computer art is also a great way to bring in cross-curricular learning into computing lessons. Here at Twinkle, we have devised two great schemes of work. These are designed for younger children and they're all about developing their artistic skills on a computer, allowing them to look at art in a completely different way. Let's have a look. Our year one syllabus mostly focuses on helping children become familiar with the different tools on Microsoft Paint, such as changing brushes, painting in different colours, creating shapes, filling shapes and large areas with colour, undoing and redoing an action, and adding text. To extend this learning and to bring in some literacy learning, why not get your child to create their own picture and add text to write a descriptive sentence? If you're currently working on a particular book, you could use an illustration for inspiration and write a sentence to retell that part of the story. In year two, we do some brilliant cross-curricular learning, looking at different artists and replicating their work, whilst also learning more in-depth art and computing skills children could explore pointillism. Begin by looking at some pointless paintings, like the work of artist Georges Seurat. Zoom in and look at the detail. Can your child see how the little dots come together to make a block of colour? Can your child create their own pointillist painting? This is a great opportunity to experiment with different brushes. Which size brush is best? Does the little pencil work? Could different sized dots be used for different effects? Another art style we look at in this unit is cubism. This style uses shapes to create other objects. Look at pictures by artists like Picasso. Creating a cubist picture is a great way to practice creating shapes and filling them with colour. Why not challenge your child to create a cubist self-portrait using only shapes and no brushes. Finally, why not have a look at the work of pop artists like Andy Warhol? This style uses bright colours and repeating images, which makes it a great way to explore copying and pasting and filling with colour. Have your child draw a box and then create a portrait using brushes in a single colour. Fill in the box with another colour. Your child can then copy and paste their image and arrange the copies into quarters. Using the fill tool, your child can then change the colours of each portrait and the background to create their own Warhol-esque masterpiece. You can tidy up any messy looking parts with a brush. That's it for now. We hope you have loads of fun creating your own computer artwork. See you next time.